Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Rachelle at Simply Honest Living. I've got the grocery haul and meal plan for the week. Jumping in with Crock-Pot Beef Caldereta. We have a salmon with asparagus with a lemon butter sauce. For Easter, I'm going to prepare a ham with a side of Brussels sprouts. And then I'm gonna try to squeeze in a Chinese chicken salad at some point, if not for dinner, probably for lunch or something like that. It's It's been a pretty odd week. We had some last minute football games and stuff like that. So our schedules got completely shifted around, but here we go. Without further ado, here is the grocery haul and goodies for the week. Hello, it is Tuesday. Welcome to the grocery haul. Don't mind the recycle stack in the back there on top of the dryer. And Winston is a little bit whiny, so you may hear him uh, whimper. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to jump right in here. I got some bell peppers. Um, they're, you know, they're not perfect. These were, oh my goodness. Are you okay, buddy? Okay. Okay. I think he's okay. We've got bell peppers. These are the clearance ones, uh, four of them for 99 cents. I don't see a price, but all of the bag produce in that clearance section is 99 cents. We have some cuties. Uh, under here we have those big tortillas because we were out of those and I need to make some breakfast burritos for Colin. I'm trying this for the first time. It's Milkadamia Creamer. This is unsweetened vanilla. So this is zero carbs. I've been really like slacking with the low, lower carb thing, but um, I'm gonna try this uh, in my coffee. I have Sunny D for Colin, cause we're out of that. Uh, chicken thighs, frozen chicken thighs. Yes, buddy, hold on, let me just finish this, okay? We've got broccoli florets frozen. We have some sesame seeds uh, for some Chinese chicken salad, and also I think I'm gonna do a broccoli kind of stir fry thing, Asian, Asian flavors. Um, and then we have some carrots. We have uh, some asparagus. Over here, we've got deli ham. I didn't buy the Canadian bacon or just regular ham at the grocery store for Colin's breakfast burritos. So I think I'm just gonna dice these up and put the strips in for his breakfast burritos. I usually just do egg, cheese, some ham, um, and tapatio. He's been liking the drippy egg, so we call it a drippy egg. It's basically like a, a sunny side up, or really over easy, over easy. Um, we have some shallot here. I actually don't remember what I needed this for, but I thought I had read a recipe where I needed some shallots. Oh, it's for the lemon butter sauce for the asparagus. So yeah, okay, let me just get through this. So um, we've got sage. I bought some stuff for Easter. I'm gonna do the ham this year. So we are doing sage, um, like a, a ham, you'll see that in a second. And I'll show you that recipe, obviously, uh, later in the next video. We have some eggs here because we're running low. Um, I got some romaine because the romaine, the romaine hearts, the organic romaine hearts were $5. They're really tiny and not looking that great. So I just got one thing of regular romaine. Um, I have some green onions. We have that ham I talked about. This was, um, you know, it was on sale because of Easter's coming up. So 10 bucks for this. Uh, how much is this? About 10 pound. This is the shank with the bone in, so got two of these macaroni and cheese. I'm going to do like a blind taste test with Colin, see if he actually notices the difference between the Kroger brand and the, the Kraft, because he says he loves the Kraft. He can tell the difference, so we'll see if he can or not. And then back here is the evil section that um, hopefully I will not partake, um, partake in or in which I will not partake. Uh, we have some muffins. These are jumbo. These are really, really huge banana walnut muffins. I actually called Rob to find out if he wanted to bring some to the office. So I got two of them for him and the office. So we're not gonna keep those in the house for us. I did, however, get some caramel ganache decadent brownies for Colin. Um, yeah, these were this was 179, the muffins. So six muffins was $2, $2. So for $4, we have a dozen jumbo muffins. Uh, Rob said he wanted some lemon bars for here at home, so I really hope I don't eat these. $1.79 for that. This is normally $6, as is this, and that's normally $6 as well. And then I also got these. I don't know if, if they're any good, if they're still kind of fresh, um, but I got sour cream cake donuts for Colin, normally $5. Oh, what was that? Uh, also one, $2, so $1.99. This is a dozen of those. So the total, let me get the receipt, $62.39. I think that is 
pretty good for, you know, I've got my Easter stuff here and I've got all those goody treats that uh, hopefully I won't be eating. Um, but yeah, so these are staples for this week. I pretty much have a lot of what I need for the meat. <laughs> The weekly meal plan since I pushed a couple meals that we were supposed to have last week to this week so I should I still have those things around in the fridge and in the freezer so I hope you guys enjoyed the haul this is it for this week and I will see you in the next upcoming meals of the week video take care until then